What's going on guys? Just got here to my homeboy Mason's house, checking out his uh, growing collection of DVDs and Blu-rays. Well, Mace, you want to walk me through? It's really not much, man. Just a small collection of stuff that, you know, you got me into. Yeah. Uh, the whole movie collection thing. It's pretty cool. Um, it's a cool hobby. It's really not too expensive or anything like that. You know, you just <laughs> keep up with it. Just grab ones here and there, you know, but a lot of movies, uh, a lot of movies I have seen, a lot of movies I haven't seen. There's a few blind buys in there. Do you prefer uh, collecting steel books over regular Blu-rays? Yeah, for the most part, yeah, because it's pretty cool. I only have two for now. I have uh, the Riddick one. Oh, no, I have three. Oh, the Riddick one. Uh, that one's really cool. One of my favorite movies. I got, where is it? Fifth Element. Probably probably my favorite movie right there. Sweet. And then Rogue One, which is my favorite steel book just because it's really, really cool. And nice. I loved that movie so much. That was the first steel book I had. That's awesome. Yeah. Take a little shot. I think we should. All right, man. Cheers. Tonight's episode of My Blues and Brews, I will be paying tribute to the late, great David Bowie, who uh, has been one of my heroes. His birthday and passing were two years ago on this month. Tonight, we will be watching Almost Famous and The Labyrinth, and we'll be pairing it with some dogfish head, Palo Santo. Cheers. Uh, what do you think about this beer, man? It's pretty good, man. It's like a, it's like, it's like more porterish, you know. It's not like a stout. It's yeah. Like, it's a brown ale, so uh, it's kind of smooth and creamy, like a porter. There's some coffee beans, some chocolate in there. Uh, yeah. It says there's some, uh, there's vanilla and caramel mm. in there. So. I know you said this is high in alcohol. Yeah, twelve percent. Twelve percent alcohol, goddamn. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. You have to make your reputation on being honest and uh, you know, unmerciful. Honest, unmerciful. Yeah, you into a jam? Advice from the late Philip Seymour Hoffman. What a badass. We have uh, Francis McDormand who just uh, past Sunday won a Golden Globe for Best Actress in a Motion Picture. I always thought she was pretty weird. I like this line. Don't take drugs! <laughs> pretty funny. Yes, mother! Yes, mother! <laughs> Speaking of Ferruja Bulk, Yo Mace, you just recently uh, got the crap on Blu-ray. Uh, you've seen it before, right? Oh, badass movie the crap. Badass 90s. Hell yeah. Oh, no. oh, no. Alright, so not sure if the room is gonna implode, explode, however you're gonna say, but the trifecta has formed. Jay, welcome. Have you seen this movie before? No, I have not. No. We are watching a almost famous tonight. We're having a David Bowie tribute night. He really has nothing to do with this movie, but there's a slight glimpse of a uh, someone portraying him. Uh, in a certain scene later on. It's next up on our brew choice. Did Got Ale by Rogue, coming in at 6.8% alcohol. Let's see how this one tastes. Cheers, guys. Cheers. What do you think about this brew? Uh, kind of tastes like apple juice. Yeah, I mean, I don't hate it though. It's pretty tasty. I know you're a big rock star, um, but Warden. Do you Bitter kick, but it's not too bad. Uh, as far as the apple juice, I, I don't really taste it, but it kind of reminds me a little bit of, slightly, of St. Arnold's, uh, what was it, that grass one? Lawnmower. Lawnmower. It has, it has some of that. A little bit. Yeah, it's like a strong lawnmower. Yeah. This next thing coming up is what made the movie and what made it memorable. Here comes a scene where David Bowie is portrayed. Alright guys, so we just finished watching uh, Almost Famous. We're still finishing up our uh, Rogue Brews, our dead guy. Uh, this next Blu-ray that I got is the very first, one of the very first Blu-rays I got on my Tuesday's Finds. Uh, videos. I have not opened it to this day and I will open it up right now.
Here it is. After all this time, I finally opened the 30th anniversary edition of Jim Henson's The Labyrinth. Let me open it up. It's got a badass booklet. Take these out. The late David Bowie, Toby. Last one for the night, Backwoods Bastard by Founders. David Bowie. It tastes more like bristle head. It does. There's um, caramel. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of caramel. I'm not a big fan of caramel, but it really is good. I know this uh, movie always gets compared to uh, Dark Crystal, but um, have you seen that movie by any chance? Uh, I don't know why, man, but I always think that movie falls short uh, compared to Labyrinth. I mean, I always thought that movie sucks compared to Labyrinth. I mean, I really have no idea why people put it upon a pedestal. In my personal opinion, the Labyrinth will always be a hundred times better than Dark Crystal. Alright, guys, I am back home. Thank you guys for watching this Blues and Brews. David Bowie tribute. As I stated earlier, this Labyrinth Blu-ray was uh, one of my first purchases on my very first Tuesday's Finds video. If you guys like this video, please give it a like, leave a comment. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. Look for me on Facebook at The Official Cinema Puke. And I'll see you next time. Rock stars have kidnapped my son.